Just when I thought things couldn't get stranger. Hey guys, it's CL, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I make brand new Critical Role recaps every Monday at noon, and would be happy to have you join the party. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the Bertrand bell to be notified of future videos. Now, without further ado, let's discuss the 44th episode of Campaign 3 of Critical Role. The episode opens as Bell's Hells return to the hidden basement of Ebenold Kai and hear the sound of intruders above breaking into his abode. While last week I assumed it was a visit from the Judicators, it was actually a trio of magic users who have been scoping out the joint for a while now. Rolling a natural 20 on her stealth, Laudna is able to put the immovable rod in front of the secret door while the rest of the group brainstorm a reason for them to be there. Laudna then sends a shape-changed pate to suss out the situation, and Imogen can sense that there are four presences above them. Three of them are the magic users I mentioned before, but one of them is an elementalist using an air elemental to search the home. It searches quick, using its corporeal form to slide through the crevices of the hidden door. The best plan that the Hells could come up with was that they were filming a... How do I not get demonetized here? Um, prawn. A prawn. Filming under the brand new company Trimmed Bush Productions under Sexual Deviants LLC. So with some of them quickly disrobing, the elemental is hesitant to attack. However, once the three mages join the room, it quickly turns hostile after the enemy notices Imogen's arm markings. Poor Imogen. She's been rolling like shit recently. You name it, whether it's a check or damage, it's just not going well. I think Glory needs to cleanse that giant dice bag of hers and just try again. We need a reset here. The tides of battle quickly turn as FCG is able to banish one of the mages. Chetney chases one trying to escape out the window and nearly snuffs their existence, and the other is knocked out as well. The elementalist, once going unconscious, loses control of its beast and it goes rogue, but it also runs off rather fast seeing it's outmatched. The Hells grab one of the two knocked out mages for questioning and escape as quickly as possible as FCG's banishment spell expires. They manage to find a warehouse that seems empty near the docks and bound the mage's hands together and begin their questioning. The mage, Taldus, is smug and isn't really quick to cooperate, but FCG clutches once again with their fast friend spell and the man gives up pretty much everything. Taldus and the other two magic users had been sussing out Kai's home for a while now and saw the Hells entering as their chance to maybe get a promotion. They are members of the Ruby Vanguard, a group that wishes to ensure a better future for all of Exandria. Yeah, that sounds evil as shit. They're the same group as Odohan and those involved with the moon and want to free the chains of all mortal life. Yeah, not good. When pushing further, their plan is to eliminate all of the gods, so Exandria can live without the burdens of those high-powered beings. Also, this plan is set to be executed in about a week's time. Will they be able to make it? Under Ludinus Deleth's guide, which now the Hells know a lot more in order to place him as a person of interest, they want to release Pradathos from the moon so he can devour these high-power beings. The Hells raise an interesting point. Asking how Ludinus and the Vanguard know that Pradathos won't turn on them as well and destroy all of humanity. All Taudus can say is that the creature comes from beyond the stars and is a natural predator of divine beings. It would never search out for such small amounts of power like the average divine magic users on Exandria. It would only hunt the big kahunas. A lot of interesting questions are raised about it since Pradathos came from elsewhere, that means the gods did as well. That means that the Exandrian gods are aliens of some sort, and whether they were fleeing this monster or were just travelers looking for land to settle, that still remains unclear. When Ira's name is mentioned, it seems that the Nightmare King is not on the Vanguard side as well. He truly is an agent of chaos like Laura has been saying this entire time. I wonder what side he'll end up taking. With only a week left, I don't know whether a group as small as the Hells will be able to stop this mounting attack. They need to send a message out to Vox Machina for assistance. Maybe they could attack one of the three Malias keys. When asking where Ludinus might be, Taldus said he could be handling the keys, aka the three machines that were built in the Feywild, the Shadowfell, and here in the Hellcatch. Deciding he may be useful for further questioning, the Hells call Plane Rider Wren to come pick him up, and man, I love her. She's just so cool. She's quick to come, and the party asks if she'd be able to transport them to the Feywild in order to tackle one of these keys. 
She agrees, however, they decide to wait and get into contact with Ashton to regroup before they go. What did you guys think of the episode? Some of my favorite moments are just them speculating at the table together. It's so cool to see how the group talks and hypothesizes with each other and what's going on. Lunis has a connection with Pradathos and is apparently able to talk with it. But what's Odahan's reasoning for being part of the Ruby Vanguard? I recently remembered that Odohan was once a devout follower of the Matron of Ravens and lost her faith during the Apex Wars. What if Odohan is doing this just to gain some sort of revenge on her former deity? Pradathos is a god eater. What if this is her way of getting back at the god who lost her? I want to know what you guys think her part is in all of this in the comments below. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video and subscribe and check out my other recaps of Campaign 3 on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Good day, my friends. Yeah,